Nicole. Yes. I'm a twin, so whenever I see a, a twin or some kind of storyline oh. with a twin uh, in a You're movie, a twin. I feel right away connected. Yeah. So in this movie, you're playing an adoptive mother. Was that kind of the link that connected you with that role personally? Um, yeah. I mean, primarily it was through that, but uh, also the story is is so powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was immediately connected just to the story because that idea of, as, I mean, Luke Davies, the writer, always says, you know, he was so drawn to it because it deals with the mythical themes of finding your mother, mm -hmm. separation from the mother, and then also memory, you know. Um, and those two things linked make such a, a great story. Mm -hmm. I loved, uh, but one thing I loved also about the movie is that you see two cultures, mm. India and Australia. Now, of mm. course, you're very familiar with the Australian culture, right? Mm. So have you ever been to India and what fascinates you about that culture? I've been to India, yeah. yeah? Um, I mean, I, I think I've, I've been there many times. So um, just I, I, I talk to them and how the survival, the nature, the, the strength and the survival aspect of the Indian culture because mm -hmm. they do, as they described, they have to fight for a lot, you know, even for space. Um, and, you know, in places like Australia, you mm -hmm. don't have to fight for space. <laughs> so that's a really fascinating part of a culture and how that then manifests. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fighting, or survival, mm. the movie's called Lion. I don't want to give away why, but it fits still. It, it fits very well to the theme of fighting spirit and surviving. Yeah. Is there a lion or a lioness, rather, in you? And in which way? Uh, I mean, I will fight for my marriage. I'll fight for my children. I'll fight for what I believe in, of course. There's things that I feel completely passionate about and will absolutely die for, mm -hmm. you know. Have you ever Google Earthed anything? I've Google Earthed my own house <laughs> to see what you could see. <laughs> and, <laughs> and was shocked at how much you could see. So Too um, much? <laughs> huh? It's just interesting, isn't it? I mean, you can see a lot these days. There's very little that's, um, that's private. Mm. And talk about working with a little kid, oh. uh, Sunny, and then also with the big kid, mm. Dev. <laughs> I mean, I was so lucky because both of them, very different, obviously one's a non-actor, one's an actor, but both I just connected with and had the ability to, they both let me in. And um, when you're playing somebody's mother, they've got to let you touch them and hold them and be very mm. free to that. And they both let me do that. I mean, I had to earn it with little Saru through just putting in the time with him. But by the end, I mean, last night I was with him and he was sleeping on my shoulder and I was carrying him down to put him in the car. Oh, wow. I yeah. didn't see that. Yeah. That was at the, we went to the governor's ball and he mm -hmm. wanted to come and he was all dressed up in a tuxedo. As soon as we got there, he fell asleep. I'm like, he's got to go home. So, yeah. For those working with other yeah, uh, children, does it help that you're a mother yourself? Yeah, it does. Because I, I feel unbelievably comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, I have... Um, just that innate, I mean, I've changed a lot of diapers in my life. I've, <laughs> I've, had, um, I've, I've had to just navigate my way through so many situations mm -hmm. with children. And um, I love it, mm -hmm. and I'm open to it. Since you spoke the, uh, about the spirit in, of India, what's the spirit of Australia? Um, gosh, I don't know. That when I, mean, I think we're... We're very um, direct, we're very open, we're very, um, we deal, we're humble, mm -hmm. we deal with things with humor, but, um, but I think we're good, we're inherently good. My cup of tea, perfect, <laughs> thank you so much.